Hey guys, in this video we are going to be parsing a string that ha the, from by looking at an SLR1 parsing table and it will be the same if you were looking at an LR0 parsing table as well because as you can see the only the way only place that they do differ in is just the replace uh, it's just the placement of the reduce moves that is in SLR uh, in LR0 you put you put the reduce moves in under all the terminals but in LR0 you just put uh, sorry, in LR0, you just put the reduce moves under all the terminals, and in SLR1, you just put the reduce moves under the follow of that variable that you're reducing. Right. So, uh, this is a string given, and this is the table given. This is the grammar that's given to us. It's numbered, as you can see, for us. So, basically, what we have to do, we have to parse this string like we did back in LL1 parsing table, but this is a bit more trickier. So, in the first step, you have, of course, you're in state 0. So, in state 0, when you see the terminal B, you shift to 4. So, on state 0, when you see the terminal B, you shift by 4. So, what you do is you insert the terminal and then, of course, on 0, with input B, you shift to 4. That's how you write the error. You just, that's how you insert everything in the stack. The dollar sign is again used for signifying that we have reached accepting state or that we are our uh, parsing string uh, our input string is over so yeah so after uh, after this in 4 and you still you're still uh, what you call uh, after you have consumed 4 uh, after you have consumed b you're left with a a b because you've inserted b this input string into the stack so you're done with it and you found a match because you're shifting so after that in on uh, when you when b when what four is on the top of the stack on input a where do you shift next so four is here on input a you don't shift you basically just reduce so the reduce move is reduced by three which grammar is this is this one x goes to b so this is basically now look at this carefully this is a bit trickier it takes practice to uh, know how to you know like get the hang of this first i write the action because that's easier to keep track so reduce by the action three. So action. Let me just write the action. It's easier. So uh, sorry. We so we reduce. We re from from state four. Reduce by state uh, by this rule three. So what basically we have to do is zero, and then the the right hand side of this rule contains b. So up to b, up from the last to whatever uh, from the top of the stack to whatever we have, and until until we reach the terminal b. We pop it off. We pop it off and we push the left hand side inside the stack. So since there is x goes to b and from the top of the stack, this part is the top of the stack, the right side is the top of the stack. From there till we reach the terminal b, till we reach the terminal b, we pop that part off and we push x. So after we push x, we basically just we basically just see that on stay in state zero on input x, where do you go to next? In state 0, on input x, you go to state 2. So at the end, there always has to be a state number. So we're still left with a, a, b. In reduce moves, we don't get to uh, discard parts of the input string because we haven't actually inserted or shifted it, shifted that part of the string inside the stack. We have just reduced the whatever is inside with the, part, with the variable of with the variable with the left hand variable on the left hand side. Right. So now on the top of the stack we have two. Uh, when we're in state two, on input A, which part do we go to next? On input A, we shift by six. So shift by six. So basically, we just zero x two, and on input A, we shift by six. So we have consumed A. So this is just this is in this para. Uh, this is in this line. The same row. Right now, on six, on state six, on input A, where do we go to next? Six. On input A, we shift by six. So shift by six again. So zero x two a six, and then again a six. We're left with just b because we've inserted those part of the string into the stack. We've consumed it basically. So we shift right. So on uh, input on state 6, always write the action first, then write the stack, and then write the input. Then it's easier. Uh, because on reduce moves, you're going get, to get really confused if you start writing the stack first, then the input, and then the action. Right. 
So in stage six on input B, where do we go to next? Stage six on input B, we go to, we shift to seven. So we shift by seven and we consume, so 2A6, A6, and we consume B and we shift by seven and we left with dollar, right? But even though we've reached dollar, this doesn't mean that the string is accepted. This means that the string will only be accepted when we have reached this state over here, the accepting state. So whenever we've reached the, whenever the top of the stack contains this accepting state, the state one, we know that we, the whole process is actually over only then. So we keep on reducing, reducing, reducing until we reach the accepting state. Right, so now all the reducing moves will come down. So uh, uh, on top of the stack, we have seven. So seven on input dollar, where does it go to next? Seven on input dollar, it reduces by rule number three. So reduce, again, first write the action, reduce by rule number three is x goes to b. So x goes to b. So zero x two a six a six. Now the terminal, the, the, everything on the right, right hand side is b. So, uh, so in the stack, we're going to be popping off from the top of the stack till we reach B. So 7 from 7, we go towards the right, left and we, till we reach B, we're going to pop it off. So we popped off till B and then now we push in the left hand symbol. So X, it will still be dollar. Right. Now 6 on X, remember on the top of the stack, it always has to be a state number. So 6 on input X, where does it go to? 6 on input X, it goes to state 9. So we write on the top of the stack this, this state 9. So 9 on dollar, where does it go to next? It reduces by 2. So reduce by 2 is reduce by x goes to ax. Right. So now let's just write it down to a 6 a. Now let's just stop here. Now, as you can see, we have to always pop off. Whenever we reduce, we pop off the right-hand side part from the stack. So we pop, we start, uh, we start until we reach x. We start from the top of the stack and we see until we reach x, and then we see until we've reached a. So as you can see, a and x. So we pop off up to this part, up to a. So the left hand, leftmost symbol on the right-hand side is a. So we pop up until we reach the first a. So we pop it off and we push in the left-hand symbol x. So after we push in x. Now again on the top of the stack there has to be a state number. So 6 on input x, where does it go to next? 6 on input x, it goes to 9. So 9, we put in 9. So 9 on dollar, where does it go to? 9 on dollar, it reduces by 2. So reduce by x goes to ax again. So we again pop off those part of the stack that that matches a and x so x a so we pop those off now we push in the left hand side symbol which is x the left hand variable so the left hand variable is x it still remains dollar and we know that on the top of the stack we always have to have a state number so 2 on x where does it go to 2 on x it goes to 5 so 5 here now 5 on dollar where does it go to 5 on dollar it reduces by 1 so rule number 1 so reduce by x s goes to x x now uh, we just uh, pop off parts of the uh, parts of the stack where we have seen x x so x we have seen one x we have seen the second x so we pop those parts off x x pop those parts off and push in the left hand symbol left hand variable which is s so 0, always we know that uh, the top of the stack needs to be a state number. So 0 and S, where on S, where does it go to? 0 on S, it goes to state 1. Now we have reached the accepting state. Now we can accept the input string. Why? Because like I said, we don't accept only just when we have reached the, the dollar symbol. We only accept the string fully when, we have the, when the top of the stack contains the accepting state. The accepting state here is state number 1. So we have reached the top of the stack, contains the accepting state. Remember, the top of the stack is here. This is the top. This is the bottom. So the accepting state uh, is, uh, is 1, and we have reached the uh, accepting state because that's on the top of the stack. So the uh, B, A, A, B is accepted by this grammar. Right.
So I hope this was understandable. This was a really, uh, tri uh, it's a really tricky parsing technique compared to the other ones. Like LL1 was nothing compared to this. Uh, it takes a lot of practice. Always remember that. Always write the action first, then the stack, and then the input. Because then you can keep track. Because if you don't write the action first, you, you will get confused while you're doing the reduce moves. It's pretty easy to keep track while doing the shift moves, but while doing reduce moves, it's better to write the actions first. If, you, if you're confused, I would suggest that watch this video again. I also had a, a big trouble by to get the, get the hang of this uh, tracing. So it's better if you watch it again and then you can, uh, of course, practice an example and then you'll understand. Uh, give a thumbs up uh, to support this series and good luck.